Can you tell me your name and occupation and spell your last name, please? My name is William H. Moe, M-O-E, and I own W.G. Moe & Sons with my brother. We're an excavation company here in Portland, Oregon. Do you have a card on it? Yep. You can get that when you leave. All right. So I want to take or subtract our precious minutes with you. Tell us, why did you get involved in this project? Well, I met Michael Lindsay, who's the president of the school, about seven years ago when I was a member of Gladstone Baptist Church. And I had saw some people that I knew that had been involved in this ministry through Portland General Electric and other areas and just got interested. And I took him to lunch and we talked about what he was going to do. And I told him that when he ever got around to doing something and expanding out of the basement of the church, I'd like to be involved. And uh, he didn't forget that. So when it came an opportunity for them to buy these two houses, he, along with some other friends of mine, got involved and he called and asked me to be involved. What about the project that attracted you, made you put in man hours? I was impressed with the fact that the community had... No, could you call over, please? Take me, my fault. I was impressed with the fact that the community and the people in the college had gotten behind it and had gone as far as they could with gutting the two houses and getting it completely stripped out and cleaned and ready because they knew they had engineering plans. So we felt that if they would, if they had that much involvement in it, then we could find the involvement to do the technical skills to get it finished. What uh, have you, in terms of technical skills, what have you lent to the, to the de development of North Portland Bible College? What have I meant? Lent to it. What, oh, lent. We've been able to to uh, procure a lot of different associations, union associations, contracting firms, um, people who had a genuine interest in seeing the community better with the help of the community. And uh, so we've been able to procure money and supplies to be able to do what has been accomplished so far. What has been the response of the contracting and construction community to your request? Pretty positive. Uh, I think that those people that have stepped forward to a great portion of those have been Christians, but others have been involved because they saw it as an opportunity to focus on what we can give back to the community. I've been very impressed with that type of an attitude. Six minutes. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> guys and so we decided we'd come up and, and help out so yeah, it's a good way to serve we most of us would like to have served more when we were uh, younger but uh, having to make a living all the time well, so now we decide well it's just an opportunity to come and serve some so we, we enjoy it we do this at home anyway and around our church so our, uh, our pastor had asked us to come up and, uh, and help out up here so we knew we could what we could do it worked out really well so we figured we'll be here for about four or five days and, and till we at least get the uh, baseboard and the doors all hung and thin. So okay. that's it. specialty has been Old Testament and uh, survey, and I've done electives, and throughout the Bible I've done New Testament electives, and... No, I mean in terms of the project. Time of the project here? Yeah, uh, you above. Okay, you're okay. Stuff. All right, okay, well, in here I have done some painting, and uh, right now I'm trying to prepare the uh, walls here 
and the door facing uh, for the for, to be painted and a lot of the nail holes around the facing of the doors is filling with putty and also pulling some tacks and uh, and um, clamps out of the floor so that uh, the floor uh, flooring new flooring that they're putting over the old floor and uh, to be carpeted it will be smooth and so and then I run errands for Bruce and whenever he needs some errands run when I get in the car and go where he sends me and however we can assist why is this project important it's important because this Could you is start by saying this by North this, Portland Bible College is important because mm -hmm, North Portland Bible College is important because it is a a uh, community project and it is our endeavor to to unite the community and also to help uh, a lot of persons get some formal education and who may not have had the privilege of going to a, to a four-year college uh, uh, to get some formal training and this is our attempt to make it affordable, affordable and, uh, and accessible. You mean training in training theology. theology and the Bible and, uh, and Christian leadership and, and to instill, instill some moral principles and of leadership and, and however uh, we can in, uh, help people to go to maturity as a Christian and to be useful in the community and uh, to be effective in their own individual churches as workers. This is our attempt to uh, facilitate that. Ms. Coleman, you spell your name C O L E M. C O L E M A N. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah,